Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spen. On this edition, Mead High's Homeland Security Program welcomes a special guest. Earth Day is right around the corner, and the Save a Life Tour is making its annual stop here at Fort Mead. These stories and more, but first, he turned down an invitation to the White House to be at Fort Meade for Holocaust Remembrance Day. Holocaust survivor Robert Baer regaled a packed McGill training center with multiple stories of surviving the Holocaust in the aftermath of World War II. In this first segment, Mr. Baer describes his experience during November 9th and 10th, 1938, Kristallnacht, the same night his father was arrested and sent to Buchenwald concentration camp. They arrested 30,000 Jews, eeny, meeny, miny, more. Among them, my biological father, whom I never saw again. They were all put in the concentration camp. And that is only one part of the punishment the Germans inflicted on the Jewish population because of the assassination in Paris, which had nothing to do with my parents, but we had to suffer. In addition, and most history books will not tell you that, in addition, they levied a fine on the Jewish population in Germany. And I'm not exaggerating, but the amount was one billion marks, and that's with a B. Baer's career after the war is of extreme interest to Fort Meade's intelligence community. He told one story about the beginning of his more than 40 years of U.S. government service. The Soviets being what they were, the military got no toilet paper. <laughs> now, what did they use to clean themselves? They used letters and envelopes. And our first job, my first job, was to go around and find somebody, recruit a German who can go to East Germany and collect those dirty letters with the APO numbers. I sat in the car in the middle of winter with a guy who was coming in from the East with a huge bag of dirty letters and we had to count them and because that's how they got paid. Two packs of cigarettes paid them. So my first assignment was to count those letters and envelopes which the Russian has used for you know what and there I was. No James Bond for me. It was, <laughs> it was that type of assignment. In other news, on Monday the 22nd, Congressional Medal of Honor recipient Lieutenant General Robert Foley will be the guest speaker as part of Meade High School's Homeland Security Program. General Foley, shown here at the Fort Meade Conference Center earlier this year, is also the National Director for Army Emergency Relief. General Foley's presentation is set for Monday, April 22nd at 2.15 in the Meade High Auditorium. Elsewhere, the National Save a Life Tour is making its way back to Fort Meade on April 22nd and 23rd. The Save a Life Tour travels the world with their state-of-the-art driving simulators to increase the awareness of the dangers of alcohol use, particularly behind the wheel. Once again, the simulators will be at McGill on April 22nd and 23rd. If you have any questions, contact the Army Substance Abuse Program at 301-677-7983. Just one more reminder that Fort Meade celebrates Earth Day next Thursday, that's April 18th from 10 to 2 at Burba Park. Dozens of vendors, government organizations, and of course Fort Meade's Environmental Division are all coming together for the biggest Fort Meade Earth Day ever. I just received these notes this week. Food will be provided by Pacern Military Housing and Uno Chicago Grill. You also have a chance to win a pair of tickets to see Kenny Chesney in concert. All of this and more as Fort Meade celebrates Earth Day 2013. For more information, contact Environmental at 301-677-9185. We wrap up this edition with some sports news. Murphy Fieldhouse hosted the 2013 Meade Interservice All-Star Basketball Tournament. Teams made up of intramural All-Stars from the Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marines squared off Wednesday and Thursday in a two-day round robin. The championship game pitted an unbeaten Army team against the Air Force. It was tight most of the way, but in the end, Air Force just couldn't handle 6'8", Dion McClinton. McClinton, a specialist with the 741st, led his team with 20 points and a dominating inside game. Air Force was led by Andre Snowden's 20 points. The final score, 78-71. Major General Mark Perrin was on hand to present the victors with their trophy. And that's Me Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For anyone at Me TV and the Fort Me Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.